Hey, I'm just playing around here. What the hell? Guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming back. This is the follow-up video for the string thing, how to memorize your strings. I'm going to go over all the other strings right now and like, see what everything that is going on with how to figure it out. Give you a few extra ideas on how to memorize the neck. Because this is a video on how to finish all that. So I'm going to give you a few other tips that weren't in the other video. Now let's get right to what we need to know. And then I'll give you some tips on how to make all that stuff a little easier to follow. The A string is very simple. You know a whole step over from A is B. So then there's no way the first fret could have a natural letter on it. We're covering the natural letters because if you know where the natural letters are, you'll automatically know where the sharps and flats are because they follow alphabetical order. So we know the first fret on the A string is an A sharp, which leads us to B. So what we need is the numbers for these strings. B, C, D, E, F, G, A is the order of these notes. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So what do we need for that? We need to know the numbers. 2, 3, 5 is B, C, D. 7, 8, 10, 12. E, F, G, A. 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. If you write these numbers down and say them all day, it takes 21 times of saying it to start to remember it. So you can probably say 21 times in a few minutes. And within a couple of hours, you can probably test yourself by the end of the day and remember that it's 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. Isn't that only one number off from the first string we did? 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12? Or how hard can it be? You're changing one freaking number from what you already learned. If you know the 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12 set up on the E string, well, you're only going to change one number. Now it's 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. And then what you do is you know the alphabet. So you follow the musical notes. If we start on the A string, then the next note, the, the first note you're going to fret or the next note would be B. So you're going to walk from B. It's now B, C, D, E, F, G, A, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, but you're starting with an open A. The bottom line is B is on two, so it's two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, and you've got all the natural letters on the B string, on the A string. Now, when you get to the twelfth fret, if you haven't figured it out yet, all these dots are the exact same dots as these. I just had somebody leave me a comment that it's hard to learn this side of the neck. Well, no, it isn't. It's only hard when you don't understand. So let me make it easy for you. Everything you see here is identical over here. What I mean is 3 is 15, 5 is 17, and 9 is, I'm sorry, 7 is 19. So what do you think 9 is? Well, follow up. One, two, three, fourth dot. One, two, three, fourth dot. 19, right? 7 and 12. We all know by now that every 12 frets the notes repeat. So if we add 12 and you got a 3, 5, 7, 9, if you add 9 to 12, what do you get? You get 21. If you take 3 and you add 12, you get 15. So when you know the notes go G, A, B, well, now you know they go G, A, B. So whatever you learned over here, you should immediately be coming over here and confirming the same thing. So there's no way that you don't know this half of the neck. If you're saying to me in the comments that you, you're having trouble with this end of the neck, it means you don't understand that this already is this. Now that you know that, whatever you did over here, you're just going to do the same thing here. That's it. Now that we covered the A string, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, let's look at the D string. You're going to notice that these notes along the strings as we travel them are only going to move by one note at a time. We're not going to be changing a lot of the numbers. So the number system that I'm showing you is very easy to pick up on because you're only moving, you're only changing one number at a time. You're not changing three numbers to go, oh my gosh, I got to learn three whole It's one. One, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve is your E string. Your B, your A string is two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. Your D string, let's check it out. Two is the E. F is the 3, G is 5, so we got 2, 3, 5, 7 is the, right, A, B is on 9, 10, 12. So what do we got? 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12. E, F, G, 
A, B, C, D. Two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Is that what I said, right? What's the A string? Two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. The D string, two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. We're talking one note different. We go to the G string, two, four, five, because we know it's A, B, C. So if A is on the two, we know a whole step away is the B. That automatically makes this a four, not a three. So it's two, four, five. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. The other, this D string was two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. So you're one note different between the G string and the D string, right? G string is two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. And the D string is two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Do you see how easy these numbers are? You just say one string at a time to yourself all day, and you'll know the spots in a day. And a week later, you know the whole neck. And what I mean by the whole neck is you know where all the natural letters are in your head, memorized by heart. And when you know that, you know the board. Because if I if you know where G is, then you automatically know where G sharp is. If you know where there's an A flat, you know where there's an A. If you know the first 12 and you, now you know these dots are the same, well, really, you should be saying, well, then I know both ends of the board. Because if I know that 3 is 15 and I know 3 is a G, then I know 15 is a G. You should be able to make this makes sense in your head without the guitar. Once you understand the first 12, you really could just follow the rest in your head. And the idea here with all my students when I teach, whether it's remote or online or however I'm teaching somebody, the idea that I try to get across to you is if you can think it, you can play it. If you can't think these notes, there's no way you're going to play them. So then you have to realize that everything you're trying to do is to keep it all stored upstairs. If you have to look at a piece of paper, you can't play it worth a shit. If you have to look at something, you're still learning it. If you're learning it, it's not very good. You want something to be really good? Memorize it beyond memorization. Memorize it to the point where you feel like you invented it yourself. You just know it that well, and you'll find that those are the things you play the best. So when it comes to the guitar, you got to memorize these numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12. 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. It all depends on your string. Now, let's look at the B string. We have a C, D, and E. That's 1, 3, 5. E is on 5, so 6 is the F. So 1, 3, 5, 6. 1, 3, 5, 6. There's my F. 8 would be G. 10 would be A. And 12 would be the B. So what are we doing? 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12. 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12. Then you're back to the high E, which is what? 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12. Guys, the neck is not that hard to memorize if you memorize the numbers of where the letters are. The letters will come automatically because you already know your alphabet and you know the number, the, I'm sorry, you know the letters go alphabetical. So once you know where the numbers are, you're just dropping in the letters and following in the alphabet, which is not hard to do. This is how you memorize your board. You got to spend a few minutes each day when you're practicing. If you care about your own self and you have a little self-love for yourself, Care enough about yourself to do this. Care enough to say, you know what? I'm investing my time and my money in this equipment. I'm spending time to watch these videos. I might as well take my time, learn things the right way. Because remember the story of the turtle and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. And that's how it is. And I'm going to give you a quick little story. When I was in college for music, I was not the show-off guy. We had, I had a lot of music classes. And one of our classes was like it was a group class. Everybody brings their guitar. And we sit in the classroom together. And, we, and everybody gets picked on. And you got to play if the guy tells you to play. So you have to know the material because he's calling on you. And if you don't know it, you look like an idiot in front of your class when he's like, you, play me this piece, and you can't play it. The kid, People just look at you like you're retarded. Me not being the show-off, I never bothered to be the kid that came in the class and, -da 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 -da, let me show you my crap. Let me show you some tapping on my acoustic guitar. Like, we're in here to learn classical. I don't care about your tapping. So there were kids that just showed off all the time. That wasn't me. I was the slow and steady guy that focused, took my time, learned everything well. And when it came down to game day, I cleaned up. I was always the best. So I'm telling you, if you want to be one of the best, take your time, learn your, learn your basics correctly and well. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, 
Everything you play on your guitar is all basic stuff. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends. That's all you're doing with your chords and your notes. So the better you know your basics, the better you play guitar. I mean, look at all the great stuff you listen to. It's all stuff you, you already know. You know, um, like you know, any great song, you know, you, you, can, you know, you can, any, most songs are easy to play, right? Look at, I don't know, just pick a song like Crazy Train. It's not that hard to play the song. A, E, and D. Basic chords. You look at Fade to Black. It's a B, it's a B power chord. Basic stuff. Most of the songs are not advanced techniques like six string sweeps and arpeggios and string skipping. That's not what most songs are. Most songs are the basics. Switching chords, playing box patterns, moving at medium speeds, playing clean. That's what basic, that's what majority of what you're doing is. So those basic skills got to be there and they all start with the fretboard. If you haven't realized it yet, everything you do comes down to finding notes on the fretboard. Everything, right? So if that one skill isn't your best skill, then I don't know why you would have any other skills better than the one you need the most. Walking is the most important form of transportation. It is the most basic form of transportation. If you can't walk, well, then other forms of transportation are much more difficult, right? Well, think of it like that when you're playing your guitar. That walking around the globe, this earth that you travel on, the most basic form of travel is walking. It is the first thing you learn in life. Because it is the most important. Because it's the way to travel. Same thing with your guitar. I want you to value learning these notes like walking is. It's the most basic skill is to walk. Well, the most basic skill on the guitar is to count the letters up and down and to know them by heart. I would like you to know them as best as you can. Get a timer out on your phone. Hit the button and, be, and, and have somebody test you and see how long it takes you to learn your notes. Know if you're learning them better. And you're learning them better if you can say them faster. Guys, thanks for watching. This is how you master your fretboard. My videos are all about how to help you reach your personal best so you can clean up and kick butt. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.